is up ninjas we are going to go over today exactly how to find the absolute best products to sell on Shopify we are going to look at a number of very cool methods to find the Shopify stores that are currently selling the best you how to see exactly which of their products are selling the most units and then how to kind of emulate uh, you know the people who are already successful in building your own Shopify empire so let's get right into it um, if you guys do like this video, make sure that you do press the subscribe button and click the notification bells so that you know every single time that I release a brand new video teaching you how to be financially free forever. So let's kick it off. Um, the first way that I like to do it is by actually using a website called um, myip.ms. What this does is since all Shopify users and Shopify sellers um, actually have to register with uh, Shopify um, on Shopify's main IP address, we can actually run a query and see which Shopify websites using myip.ms are actually getting the most traffic. So if you actually do go into Shopify's um, help, you can see that Shopify's IP address is 23, 227, 38, 32. So if we take this IP address and we plug it into myip.ms, we can see that um, the IP owner, it actually belongs to Shopify, right? And then something that's pretty cool that we can actually do here is um, we can see other sites on this IP address, right? And so when we look at this, now all of a sudden we can rank by world site popularity ranking, right? And this is using Alexa, which is kind of the database for internet websites, um, you know, based on traffic, based on things like that. Now, all of a sudden, we can see a ton of Shopify websites based on their popularity. And this gives us a couple of cool insights, right? Not only can we see these websites, right? Um, but we can also uh, colorpop.com. We can see these websites, um, we can see what they're selling, but another cool thing that we can see is all of the little tips and tricks and plugins and just kind of buyer psychology aspects that they use to get people to purchase, right? So $5 off your first order, let's be friends, enter your email, right? This collects um, email addresses for a very cheap cost, only $5 off of an actual order. And once you do create a customer, um, you know, as any business owner knows, uh, creating a customer is much harder than getting an additional sale from an existing customer. So they're collecting email addresses for email marketing down the line with downstream uh, income. And they're also you know, giving them that $5 coupon to make them make the purchase today. So we can implement this onto our own website. We can also see free domestic shipping over 30, free global shipping over 50, right? These are important things that this website obviously has tested and proven are important to buyers, right? Last call extended, 20% off while you still can, giving people discount codes. Um, you know this uh, carousel type effect for their products right so all of these things we can see are you know obviously working because this is one of the most highly trafficked uh, Shopify sites on the internet right buy to get one free so that is a cool way that I like to do it and you guys can take a look at all of these different things right fashion Nova Jeffrey cosmetics movement watches right a lot of us have probably seen movements ads on Facebook they're obviously very successful there um, and so we can take a look at all of these, kind of note, you know, which plugins they're using, which type of kind of sales tactics they're using, and then implement them on our own sites. And another cool thing that we can do is actually um, use what Shopify's kind of organizational structure of their domains to uh, trick uh, these websites into actually showing us what their best selling units are. So how we do that is um, we use this little um, extension, this URL extension, right? Because uh, Shopify organizes products into collections, right? And then they all organize it if you sort by best dash selling, right? And I will include a cheat sheet with all of this different information, right? The direct link to how you see, um, you know, my IP. Uh, you can see the direct link to see, you know, the most popular Shopify sites. I'll give you the direct link on the cheat sheet um, if you do want to get the cheat sheet of this uh, best selling URL so you can just copy and paste it onto any Shopify website, right? And if they do have like super customized uh, structure, then sometimes it won't work, but most of the time it will, right? So we can tell here that their best selling unit is this saucy pressed powder shadow palette, right? Pressed shadow powder, super shock shadow, um, ultra metallic lip. So this is a great way to kind of look at a specific niche, right? Whether you like makeup or fishing or, you know, outdoorsmanship or basketball or whatever it is, it doesn't matter, right? There usually or almost always will be at least some Shopify websites 
in that specific niche, we can find those websites based on the tactics that I'm going to teach you, whether you're using my IP, I'll teach you a few other ways to find uh, websites, popular Shopify websites for any specific niche, and then you can use this best selling URL extension right directly into the URL to see what sells the best, and then you can kind of add your own little twist and create a Shopify store where you know that there is existing demand. So let's take a look at one more on kind of this main list just to kind of hammer a few things home and you know just seeing somebody do product research for Shopify um, you know that has a little bit more experience sometimes can be really helpful. So we're going to look at fashionnova.com um, and another thing to note guys sometimes you know if they do have a custom URL schema and this collections uh, URL does not work right sometimes you can just type in collections slash best dash sellers um, and if they do have a custom scheme this is normally what it is so it's you can always kind of find their best sellers 99% um, of the time this will work right you just copy and paste this directly after their your uh, directly after their domain name and it will work but sometimes if they have you know a huge store and they do have a little bit more customization this is how you do it so let's take a look um, this is their best sellers here um, what I like to look for um, I'm gonna show you another little trick kind of to see a little bit more information as far as social shares right you want to see a lot of people talking about whatever you are going to go into selling um, so let's look for you know something that's a little bit more unique these are all kind of Okay, so this is pretty unique. I've never seen this before. So a latex dress, right? So another website that I like to use is called BuzzSumo. This basically um, analyzes content, um, you know, how it's performing as far as like key influencers, um, you know, Facebook shares, Pinterest, and things like that. So if we type in latex dress here into BuzzSumo, um, it will show us Right, so here we go. So 10.3 um, Facebook, 10.3 thousand Facebook engagements, 304 Twitter shares, uh, Pinterest, right? Total shares 10,006. So yeah, so it looks like Kendall Jenner wears a skin tight latex dress and thigh highs um, for a dominatrix Halloween costume, right? So these are all kind of things that you can take a look at, right? So this is in the past year. We can let's look at the past month and see if there's anything recent, right? So almost a thousand Facebook engagements. Ariel Winter, another um, celebrity. Uh, Nicki Minaj, right? So this does look like something that might be interesting. It does look like people are still talking about it, right? Maybe it's a little bit more seasonal related to Halloween for uh, costumes like that. Um, but, you know, that it, that pretty much works for any topic, right? If you're looking at a fishing uh, Shopify niche, right? You can look for any unique products that you see. Type in those main keywords, right? It could be bodysuit. Um, it could be, you know, something a little bit more unique. Um, it's harder with fashion sometimes, but I wanted to show you kind of in the most difficult uh, manner just because, um, you know, these methods will work for much easier things, but fashion kind of is the hardest since, you know, it's kind of overcome by celebrities and things like that. But if we wanted to type in bodysuit, let's see what we get up when we type that in. All right, so 38,000 shares, um, right, cyclists knocking off. Um, 0.3 seconds with a bodysuit, share and a thong and a bodysuit at 71 years old, right? So it's good to know that people are talking about the product that you could potentially be selling, right? And so with a website that is second on the popularity list in Shopify, um, you pretty much have a very good idea that there's a ton of traffic coming here. And let's go over exactly how we are going to figure out how much traffic and where it's coming from for any Shopify website or for any website in general for that matter. So this is called similarweb.com. Um, it's free to sign up, right? Uh, and so this is just a free account that I'm using. It gives you a lot of data about any particular website, right? So global rank 4,000, that of all websites, country 1,000, right? So incredible, incredible traffic here. 11, almost 12 million monthly visitors. Um, so you, you can be very comfortable that they've done, a, a you know, extensive testing for the types of plugins that they're using, you know, how they're getting people to buy. Free two-day shipping is obviously important to people. Free UK and UK shipping, 75 and up. Fast international shipping, only $10 free for over 150, right? So incentivizing people to purchase a little bit more. Um, and we can tell a lot more information other than just uh, monthly visitors, right? So we, we can see that the unique monthly visitors are only 3 million, which means that they have a ton of people coming back over and over again, right? 10 pages um, is the average, right? We can see where people are coming from, which is important because if you do have a Shopify website, it's very important to learn about, you know, how to get people to come to your site. Normally that's through Facebook. Normally, you know, you're building an audience with Facebook groups or a page. You're building interest, like, you know, on a YouTube channel, talking about your products, you know, 
for your specific niche and you're running paid ads normally through Facebook and Google AdSense and things like that, right? So you can, knowing which country people are coming from, <clears throat> excuse me, is very important because then you can narrow down, you know, your target audience by geographic location. So we can see, you know, how people are actually coming to the website. People are being referred by these specific websites. Um, we can see, you know, how much is organic versus paid, which is obviously incredible here. We can see social traffic is coming from YouTube and Facebook mainly, like we just mentioned, right? But they're also getting some traffic from Pinterest, Instagram, and a little bit from Twitter and other places as well. So we see that their top publishers actually are Yahoo over Facebook, which is, you know, interesting. Um, we can see that they're running ads through uh, Credio, Yahoo, Outbrain, right? Some of the uh, less famous uh, ad publishers, right? Facebook and Google obviously being the most famous. Um, we can see, you know, outgoing links and all types of information, right? We can see website audience, traffic sources, traffic destinations, website content, competitors, right? All of these different things. Um, and the more information that you have about a competitor, if you are thinking about coming into this niche, the better it is, right? Because knowledge is power and that is why we're going through all of this. And if you guys do need help with Facebook advertising, definitely make sure you check out my uh, video on Facebook ads. We talk about, you know, very practical, pragmatic tips and tricks. All of these different websites, usually they're free, right? We don't do any high level BS type stuff. Obviously we're showing you, you know, down and dirty into the gritty, uh, you know, trenches of actually finding the best Shopify uh, products. And similarly with my Facebook video, we talk about exactly how to make very profitable Facebook ads, right? And so the next thing that we are going to talk about um, is intelligence. Right, so intelligence is a very cool website, and this is the only tip that we are showing you guys that actually is um, that does charge. But if you are very serious about your Shopify um, website, right? I know a lot of people, including myself, who are making you know six figures monthly selling selling on Shopify from their computers anywhere in the world, right? So it is a very very viable way to replace your income, right? To quit that nine to five uh, corporate slavery and to move into the digital nomad lifestyle if that is what you're after, right? And so intelligence is an investment in yourself. It is a very cool piece of software that we are going to go over that shows you the exact websites that are performing the best on Shopify in any niche and it gives you a ton of data and it does all of this for only $197, um, which is a very, very good deal, right? Because obviously if you are going to invest in a, you know, building a Shopify empire, $197 in the scheme of things is nothing, right? And they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you guys are interested, uh, I do have the link for Intelligence in the description. So give it a give it a try, right? 30 days money-back guarantee. You know, if you have to and you're not in, and you're not feeling it after 29 days, you can get your money back, right? So there's absolutely no risk. Link in the description. Check it out. We are going to go over exactly how to do it right now. All right, guys, so let's jump into intelligence. This is a very, very interesting piece of software that is very unique actually in the Shopify space. Um, nothing else really out there does what this does, which is why it's actually worth the $197. I'm not a huge fan of paid software unless, you know, it's very unique and does obviously pay for itself and provide a huge amount of value. So how we use this website um, is let's say that we're interested in a cat niche, for example, right? So we're in the Shopify product search category right now. So we would actually type in cat for product search and it would give us a bunch of interesting data here, right? So it defaults to show you the average daily visitors um, by store um, and, then it, and then it shows you exactly which products are actually most, um, are the best sellers on those stores. So this specific product looks like it is the best seller related to cats. So it's a ridiculous kind of looking, um, you know, ski mask in the form of a cat's head, which people obviously like. You know, I'm not sure why somebody would buy that personally, but it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what the data says. So um, we also can see, you know, paws and ears cat ring. All right, so this is a cute little ring you could get for, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend or anybody who loves animals or cats or anything, right? So it has a lot of appeal, uh, very cheap. This looks like a product that would be very easy to drop ship. And we are going to talk about exactly what drop shipping means and kind of the two main ways that people use uh, Shopify to create an online business, right? The first way is creating an actual store itself, populating that store, you know, with different products. And then you can use either, you know, self-fulfillment or you can use a, a fulfillment service like Amazon FBA to actually 
um, through Amazon FBA's multi-channel fulfillment settings, have Amazon fulfill um, your orders when people buy your products, right? The second method is using what's called drop shipping, which basically means um, a manufacturer in China or wherever it is would actually make this product, but they wouldn't actually make and ship it until you got an order. So this, these are the two methods, right? The first is a bit more capital intensive, but normally the shipping is uh, much, much faster because you're shipping it out actually from the USA. Um, drop shipping tends to be a little bit longer on the shipping um, scenario, more like, you know, a, a one to two weeks shipping by e-packet versus Amazon, which is usually you know two to four days, right? But the cool thing about drop shipping is you don't actually have to invest um, any money up front, and you don't have to you know buy any inventory up front, which means you have no capital intensive risk on the front side because you're only actually you know shipping a, an order when you get a sale. So we're going to talk about both methods a little bit later on, but let's jump back into intelligence. So this is the uh, product search method, right? So it can, it works for anything, right? You could do phishing. Uh, and, and an important part about Shopify guys, just as a side note is you want to build something that you're passionate about, right? You don't, you know, there's a, there's a balance. You want to do your due diligence, make sure that what you are passionate about, you know, other people are passionate about, people are spending money on, right? You can use what we talked about before, BuzzSumo. You can use, you know, similar web. You can look at, you know, the type of social media presence. If there's popular Instagram accounts related to what you're passionate about, right? If there's popular YouTube presence, um, and those are really good factors and good, dis, you know, kind of things that you want to look for when you are going to jump into a Shopify niche to make sure that the interest is there, right? So if we're doing fishing, right, again, we can see pen-shaped pocket fishing rod, right? So click and shop, obviously a Shopify store. Um, it looks like this is, you know, some type of novelty um, item. It's not working right now, but we can see that there's, you know, some fishing shorts, um, solar power portable fishing light, Um, yeah, so here we go. So a pocket pen shaped pocket fishing rod. So I don't know if this is just like a complete novelty item or if people actually use these tiny little things, but it looks like they actually do. So, I mean, you know, it's a hilarious little product and I never in a million years would have found this specific Shopify store or this product unless I had been using intelligence in this specific um, scenario, right? So it is a powerful software. I know it is paid. I normally try to like hunt down every single method, right? Using my IP and all those little tricks using Shop Shopify's IP address to show you guys, you know, the popularity of websites for free. But in this one case, I do actually think it's worth it. And with a 30 day trial, right, there's not a ton of risk. So the other cool way that I like to use um, this specific store is by or this specific product is using the Shopify store search uh, tab, right? And so in the same sense, instead of finding popular products specifically, we can actually find stores uh, Shopify stores that are the most popular based on daily visitors for any specific niche. So we can see here, Universal Mania is, seems to be the most popular um, Shopify site, right? We also have Hug Gear, Performance Fishing Apparel, right? Um, and so we can take a look here. So this looks to be uh, kind of like the outdoor scene. So, you know, they do have fishing, but they also feature hunting, um, you know, uh, extreme sports type stuff. So if we wanted to find one that was very specific to fishing, all right, performance fishing right in the header, right? So this, this is definitely for serious fishermen. <laughs> so, you know, and this gives you such a powerful tool into, you know, niche specific product research because like we can tell from the other sites that we looked at, right? It seems like free shipping on orders over $50 is a vital must have. You can see kind of their, you know, uh, social media presence, see what type of things that they're sharing, right? 300,000 likes. That's incredible. Obviously, um, you know, I would expect that they're sharing, right, lifestyle kind of videos related to fishing, um, you know, showing a kid and his dad kind of uh, inciting emotion, how, you know, advertising should do a face only a mother can love, right? So kind of like a funny thing, 42 likes, one share. So not a ton, but, you know, they're obviously, uh, they're obviously very cognizant of the need for social media engagement as every e-commerce company needs to be. Right, so those are the main two ways that I like to use 
um, intelligence. It's an incredibly powerful tool. Um, you can, you know, use filters if they have a Facebook pixel, these websites, right? Whether or not they're doing Facebook um, ad research, you can, you know, do whether or not they have a Facebook page, how many likes they have, Twitter profile, Instagram, right? All of these different types of tools. And so another way that I like to kind of um, take a look at what is selling is by using a, web, a little website that most of us probably know uh, called Amazon, right? So Amazon is a cool, um, you know, a cool resource even for Shopify uh, because Amazon is incredibly efficient at selling products, right? And so you can be quite sure that any product that is organically listed on Amazon's first page related to a keyword as, you know, uh, high volume as phishing is damn sure that it is selling a ton of units, right? So this is a bestseller tag, right? I ignored these first two because these are sponsored results. These are not actually organic results. So somebody is actually paying for PPC clicks related to the word phishing um, to get these to show. And so the first one that does not have that sponsored is the first organic search result, which means to me that this backlit LCD display, electronic balance, digital phishing postal hanging hook is selling an absolutely crazy amount of units. And again, this is a, right. So this is a live demonstration of what the power of Amazon is showing us, right? Mini portable pocket aluminum fishing rod pen. So what we just saw on that uh, website that we found through intelligence of, you know, uh, the mini portable pocket aluminum alloy fishing rod, we also see on Amazon and we do see that they have three out of five stars, which means that, you know, people are not very happy with the specific product. So what we can do here is we can hop into um, the reviews on Amazon you know, we can filter by one star and we can just take a look, right? Missing an eye, just thought it looks looks good but made cheap, wasn't able to fish with it, worst piece of garbage ever, it broke in three seconds, right? So people are obviously not very happy with the overall quality, right? Not meant for big fish. This is not a functional fishing combo. Don't waste your money unless you're looking for decoration. So obviously, if you are going to launch a Shopify store, you know, in or Shopify product in this specific category, you would want to make sure that your manufacturer or your distributor or wherever you're actually going to be getting these products is very conscious of quality, right? They're only charging, you know, what was it? They're only charging $5.38 and free shipping, right? So maybe maybe instead of charging only $5.38, we're charging 20, but you know, we're making sure that it isn't as, you know, poor quality as this specific product seems to be. So Amazon is very good at organizing, you know, what is selling because every time a unit sells, Amazon makes money. So Amazon obviously is incentivized to show you the products on page one that are most likely to sell related to your query. So it's a great way to kind of see what type of products are more likely or, or quite likely to sell on Shopify. All right, let's take a closer look now at a few other different social media uh, websites and product databases to make absolutely sure that whatever product niche that you do want to enter with Shopify or drop shipping, um, you're going to be absolutely sure that these products are going to sell. And so the first thing that I like to do, let's take our cat example, right? Because this is a perfect little item um, for drop shipping or for adding to, um, you know, your Shopify website in the form of a product because it's small. Um, obviously, it's incredibly cheap to make, very cheap to sell, right? You want to be in kind of that uh, impulse buy range. If products are more than you know fifty dollars, sometimes people are less likely to kind of buy them on a whim. But if they are kind of in that five to twenty dollar, twenty five dollar sweet spot, um, it's much easier to kind of get that sale, especially if you do have a minimum cart uh, value to get to that free shipping, right? So the first thing that I like to do is check out Pinterest, right? So if we search cat jewelry on Pinterest, we can see again that Pinterest wants to show you the most likely um, product that you are going to purchase, right? And so they're going to organize this by popularity. So if we look at these, this is a beautiful little ring, right, of these cute little cats. Again, a cat ring, a cat earring thing, um, you know, cat earrings again, a little diamond um, with the cat ears and the whiskers, right? And so you can get a very quick idea of, you know, these beautiful little items that are available on Pinterest. I didn't see these on Amazon, right? I didn't see any of these specific models on, um, you know, any of the Shopify sites that we saw with the highest daily visitors, right? So Pinterest is a great one, whether it's fishing, whether it's, you know, fishing products, it doesn't matter what it is, right? I'm just using these examples to show you guys kind of what, how I can figure out, you know, what is most popular as far as social media shares, what's most popular as far as actual Shopify stores itself based on daily visitors and things like that. So Pinterest is a great way. The next way that I like to do it is with Google Images and Google Shopping. So again, 
Google is probably the most successful company in the world at organizing data in a way that the end user, us, right, is going to be most happy with the content that we see based on our search result, right? So when we search cat jewelry, it's not at all random. Uh, the order that Google is showing us these products, it is incredibly, you know, it is incredibly uh, complicated how Google's algorithm sorts these products, you know, based on popularity, based on, you know, trending shares and social proof and all of these different factors, right, that Google is kind of calculating behind the scene with their incredibly complex search algorithms, but it's showing us these products in an order that we can be damn sure, right, that these products are going to be popular and that other people are clicking these, sharing these, liking these, and purchasing these. Right, so again, we can kind of look for similarities between this and Pinterest, whatever catches our specific eye, right? We, you know, and whatever we can actually find from a manufacturing perspective to be able to actually create these, right? Because the, you're not gonna be able to find every single one of these products on AliExpress or Alibaba, right? To find a manufacturer to make them for pennies on the dollar and then sell them once you get them into the USA market or, you know, if you're advertising them on your Shopify site for, you know, 10, 20, $30. And, you know, obviously your profit is the difference between what you buy it for and what you sell it for. So again, you're looking for similarities between here and Pinterest and you can use Google Shopping as well to see for yourself, right, um, what products are actually selling. K Jewelers, um, Etsy, right, just a very simple cat ring for $15. I can't imagine that this costs more than five cents to make. Um, and it's incredibly light, incredibly durable, very difficult or very cheap to ship, right? So it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful little product. Again, these cat necklaces, we saw a couple different versions of this. Um, we can see that there's you know sterling silver, gold, different versions, a cute little you know fat cat with <laughs> with a heart. Um, and so you can kind of start to collect these, right? Make a little folder with all of your different favorite items that you find, right? Collect pictures, collect uh, you know different titles of whatever the product you may be that strikes your fancy and you've also proven um, is you know going to be a top seller by finding it with intelligence, by finding it with Pinterest, by kind of cross-referencing all of these different resources to see what is actually selling. So the next one that I like to look at is Etsy. So if we look at cat jewelry, again, we're starting to notice a theme here. It seems like rings and necklaces are kind of the most um, popular items related to cat jewelry. Um, we do see a bracelet here. Again, you can see social proof. Um, this might be for mom, you know, because a lot of mothers or, you know, whatever, love cats and from uh, sons and daughters, especially seasonality for these types of uh, products, right, for Mother's Day, for Christmas. The demand for these products is absolutely going to explode, right? And so even if you're only selling a few a day during the year, all of a sudden during Mother's Day and, uh, you know, coming up to Mother's Day and during Q4 and during Christmas and during these different holidays, these numbers are going to, you know, multiply by tenfold. So we see cute little cat necklaces. Um, again, here's that exact ring in the form of a necklace, which is another cool idea. And these, these are Etsy, right? So these are handmade. But you can, you know, I've had a very large amount of success automating, you know, these designs and things that I do see other places, whether it's Google Images or Etsy, automating it and creating, you know, a very viable drop shipping business with Oberlo, which we will talk about how to, you know, very easily import items from AliExpress into your Shopify store and have it all handled behind the scenes for you, right? When a customer orders from your Shopify site, uh, your manufacturer in China ships that item directly to the uh, address that the customer inputs into your Shopify website and it's all happening behind the scenes. You don't have to touch or fulfill or create any of this yourself, which obviously you do have to do with Etsy. So the last one that I like to look at, or excuse me, the second to last one I like to look at is wish.com. Um, it's a little bit less popular of a website, but it definitely is up and coming. They're very popular on social media. I'm sorry, this is in Colombian uh, dinero, or Colombian currency because I was just in Colombia, but um, these are, you know, obviously quite cheap. This, these are beautiful items in my opinion, right? The silver and gold moon uh, set that you can get as for an anniversary present for your parents or, you know, some type of anniversary pre present for your girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, a lot of different stuff here. So again, we're not gonna look through all of this, but I'm just trying to give you all of these different resources for whatever product niche you, that you are interested in. It does not have to be cat jewelry, it does not have to be fishing. Those are just the first uh, kind of few that came to my head. Um, and we can look here again on eBay. We do see that eBay sometimes will drop ship, right? So you can actually buy this from China 
60 cents for this, right? And you could create you could create a Shopify website, put it on there for 14.97, buy it from eBay for 60 cents and obviously the you know, the profit and the automation becomes very very um, enticing quite quickly, right? Um, and so let's take a look at one other thing. So I like to use a website called Ad Espresso. Um, when I am creating my Facebook ads, uh, this is a very good way to kind of get some, uh, you know, encouragement and insight into what other people are doing, right? Because it's very difficult to write an ad completely from scratch. But if you do have something to look at, uh, you know, of things that have worked in the past, right? 60% off, uh, free shipping in all capitals, right? They're using emojis. Um, so it just makes it much easier for you know you to write your ads, which you are going to need to do if you are going to get into the dropshipping or Shopify business, right? And if you do want some more in-depth kind of videos on Facebook advertising, definitely make sure to check out our Facebook advertising video on the YouTube channel. I promise you, you are going to like it. So that's just kind of a quick little aside. Uh, adespresso.com slash academy slash ad examples, and you can do this kind of for anything, right? Um, fishing, right? Do you love fly fishing? Is, is fly fishing what your marriage is missing? Right? All of these different ads and you can kind of tweak them and make them your own, but you can see what other people are doing. Free shipping on orders of 75 plus with this uh, coupon code, right? Reel in a free whatever. Uh, it's just, it makes it a lot easier. Trust me, I've written thousands and thousands of ads and kind of sitting at your computer and typing it from scratch is much harder than having an example to look at. And so what Audience Insights is, is a service offered for free from Facebook on kind of for their advertising accounts that shows you you know what people are interested in on Facebook related to specific topics and so this is very important um, because when you are creating Facebook ads which has always been my biggest um, kind of source of paid traffic to my Shopify websites and once you kind of create a customer it's much easier to um, re uh, retain that customer than it is to you know get that first customer in the door and to make their first purchase so a lot of the organic sales come from email marketing right you're building an email list once you drive that paid traffic but it's very important to be able to figure out what people are interested in related to your product on Facebook so you can you know better target those users on Facebook when you are creating Facebook ads bringing people to your Shopify store so if we type in cats here right so what we're looking at currently just for those of you who don't know this is all of Facebook right 54% of Facebook is women, 46% are men, right? Uh, the lion's share of people are between 25 and 44 years old. You can see, right, it's about uh, 40%, 40, 43% of people, right? And so if we type in cats, we'll see that these charts start to change, right? So 72% all, all of a sudden of, of Facebook users uh, who are interested in cats are women, right? Which is incredibly important, right? When, when you're creating ad campaigns, you wanna be as specific as possible so that you're not paying for ad clicks or you know serving your ad in front of people who are not as interested, as interested in your product as you can possibly assume that they are, right? And so what we can see here is um, that, you know, 15% of people who are women um, on Facebook are 18 to 24, but again, 25 to 34 and 35 to 44 are the sweet spots. So when we are creating our ads, bringing people into our Shopify store, right, with cat jewelry or fishing products or whatever it is, um, we wanna make sure that we're targeting that demographic. And again, mostly focusing on women in this specific case as 72% of Facebook users who are interested in cats happen to be women, right? But the most important part of Audience Insights is page likes. So page likes is basically showing you what people are also interested in from a page perspective, from a Facebook page perspective um, related to cats. So what we can do here um, is we can look at all of these different Facebook pages, right? And then when we are creating Facebook ads, we can say, hey, Facebook, only show my ad for this amazing piece of cat jewelry to people who like these specific pages. And it's incredibly, incredibly important. It's such a huge factor, right? Two million people like this Facebook page called And My Cat. And so I, I've never heard of this personally. I'm not the biggest cat guy in the world, right? I, you know, I like a big fluffy cuddly cat like the next person, but it's not my thing as much as some other people, right? But obviously a ton of people like this. Um, 20 plus cats that look like other things with obviously a clickbait of Adolf Hitler and this cat that kind of looks like Adolf Hitler, right? But it's super important because you can, you know, you can say, okay, Facebook, only show my ad to women who are between 25 and 34 years old who have also liked the Facebook pages and my cat 
heartwarming, animal rescue home, all cute all the time, right? Pet smart, all of these different things, right? And when you're starting to narrow an audience smaller and smaller and more targeted and more targeted and more targeted, then every person you show that ad to from a very targeted perspective is incredibly more likely to actually click through to your website and then again, click through and make a purchase. All right, so the last method that we are going to take a look at today is how we can find um, successful sellers based on people leaving reviews on paid apps. And I know that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but <laughs> hear me out. So if somebody is going to pay you know, 10, 20, 30, 50, or even more than $50 a month for an app, um, for a Shopify app, you can make a very you know educated assumption that they are making money with their Shopify store and this is a cool way to find you know new potential niches because people who do review these apps have to do so with their Shopify accounts so if we come into Shopify uh, apps by sorted by popular which again will be included in the cheat sheet that I do have um, in the description if you guys are interested in it do go ahead and download it um, so we're gonna look here for some that actually cost money, uh, some some amount of money per month. So nine dollars a month is not a huge amount, right? So we're looking for some that might cost a little bit more. So as we scroll through these, we do see up to thirty nine dollars a month here, which is not bad. All right, nine to fifty dollars a month there, and we do see. All right, so let's let's just go ahead and do this. Um, nine to forty nine dollars a month right so it's guaranteed to be some amount of paid um, which usually will kind of weed out the people who are just getting started and don't have a ton of experience so and then what we can do is we can just click directly on these people's names and it opens up their Shopify accounts which is amazing because you can get so many you know so much insight into what people are selling um, you know, and you can take a look at all of these different types of stores that you never really otherwise would have been able to find just by looking at, you know, these people's Shopify stores. So those first two are not great examples, <laughs> um, but I'm doing this live for you guys so you can actually see it. Um, right, so down the rabbit hole, so it's a bottle of wine. So it looks like you can actually, so this is an Australian website, but you can actually buy, you know, wine products, which I probably would not have thought of. Um, let's see what some of these other ones are. Homes, puns, and Hanson. So this looks like kind of like a crafty website, which is kind of cool. Um, we can take a look at some of the stuff that they're selling. And again, we could use the best seller extension that I will have in the cheat sheet um, to see what their best selling items are, right? So hands-on wearables kind of to give like the child feel, things like that, right? 10% off. This one doesn't look like it's actually built out. This looks like a t-shirt one. All right, so this is pretty cool. So they have linen, silks, cottons. All right, this is a pretty well-made design. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's just a cool little way that you can kind of take a look at a bunch of different webs, a uh, bunch of different Shopify websites that you otherwise wouldn't really be able to find, and you can make the assumption that they are, uh, you know, at least moderately successful if they are going to pay, you know, ten to fifty dollars a month for this specific product. And so the last thing that I want to look at right now is a web app called Oberlo. So what Oberlo is, is a very cool app that allows you to import products from AliExpress, which we will talk about in one second, directly into your Shopify store. And it makes it so incredibly easy basically to, you know, import a product from AliExpress that costs $1 onto your Shopify store that you are selling that exact same product for $15 and it does all of the behind the scenes work for you where it actually automatically fulfills that order for you. You buy it for $1 and then you sell it for $15 and pocket the difference. So it's an incredibly powerful app and let's talk about how we actually use it on AliExpress. So to go with our you know, main example we've been talking about kind of for most of the video, cat jewelry. So if we head over to AliExpress and for those of you who don't know, AliExpress is basically a wholesale website where you can buy you know, individual products from manufacturers in China and have them drop ship it, which means when you get an order from someone here in America or wherever they are in the world, you actually ship it directly from China to your end customer and then pocket the difference, right? This is a $2.52 per unit. You're probably gonna sell it on your Shopify site for, you know, $19.95. And so it starts to add up very quick when you are making $16, $17 profit per unit, right? And so 
how I like to use um, AliExpress is uh, a few ways, right? So you can actually do best match and it'll show you kind of what's trending and things like that. Um, you know, what people bought in certain price ranges, whether it's 70 cents to $1.37. It looks like most users are spending between 71 cents and $3.01 per unit on buying from AliExpress. But a cool way that I like to use it is actually sorting by orders. So cat jewelry is our keyword, 6,419 results. And we can see here that the actual most ordered unit, right? So people are obviously having success drop shipping these particular items um, is the uh, necklace tassel cat dog paw print women, right? And so this looks like, you know, some type of like Lord of the Rings S type stuff. Another little uh, cat necklace. And these are $2.52 per unit when we normally would see, you know, these exact same type prices for um, significantly more expensive on people's Shopify websites. And so sorting by orders, you can see a lot of information about, you know, what's selling, what other people are buying from a drop shipping perspective to kind of even further collect data, which is so important to launching a successful business. And so if you guys can see here, the overlow, uh, Chrome extension, which we did add, this is what's going to enable us to automatically import products from AliExpress directly onto our Shopify website. Um, you'll see here that when you hover over any product, you'll see the Overlow tag here. And all you have to do is sign into your Overlow account, um, you know, via your Shopify site. And then all, literally all you do is one click for your product and then it imports this product directly onto your Shopify website. You can drive paid traffic or organic traffic from Facebook groups or, you know, YouTube videos reviewing these type of things or, you know, any type of paid traffic from Google or, you know, if you're making Pinterest posts or you have Instagram accounts directly to your Shopify product page where you're going to put this exact same product for $14.95, right, for $19.97, whatever it is. Overlow will do all of the you know hard work automatic automatically for you. You'll pop you'll buy this product for a dollar and thirteen cents per unit, and you will sell it on your Shopify website for fourteen ninety five, nineteen ninety seven, you know twenty four ninety five, whatever it is, right? Because when you have seasonality, um, you know for Mother's Day or things like that, you can charge even higher prices, which means your profit margin margin is even bigger, right? And the beautiful part about dropshipping, guys, is there's absolutely no risk up front because you only actually have to buy it when you already have gotten a sale. Right, and so the last two things I want to talk about are the Ollie Price Assistant pro, uh, Price Tracker. So what this uh, specific Chrome extension does is it allows you to kind of see, you know, historical pricing on AliExpress for any type of item. Right, you can analyze seller ratings and check the seller. Um, you know, check the seller out. You can track historical prices of any AliExpress products, which is great because, you know, you don't want to be overpaying for any particular item on AliExpress. And let's say that they were charging 30 cents yesterday. Now all of a sudden they're charging $3 a unit and you never would have known unless you use the Ali price assistant tracker. And so Overlow Ali price assistant price tracker. And the last one that is absolutely vital is the AliExpress seller check. So what this does is it shows you, you know, all types of feedback into sellers. You can view detailed ratings of the seller themselves and you can see, you know, they've been on AliExpress for a year. 97% of clients are happy, right? You can see all different types of data to make sure that you're not going to be shipping, you know, crap products to your end customers, which is never good, right? Or you can make sure that, you know, people are actually, this, this uh, manufacturer is actually going to ship these products rather than, you know, lie and be fraudulent and not ship these things out, which is obviously a headache for you to have to deal with as a drop shipper. So these are the most three, these are the most important three types of um, Chrome extensions that you're absolutely vital for Shopify, right, for drop shipping. And then the final thing that I wanted to talk about is kind of how to use ClickFunnels um, to set up a fully automated funnel for you to actually, you know, build uh, this, these drop shipping businesses if you didn't want to use Shopify, right? So the two most viable methods for drop shipping and for creating Shopify businesses obviously is Shopify, right? You can create a Shopify business, fulfill orders through Amazon, fulfill orders yourself, or, you know, you can uh, create a Shopify drop shipping business where like we talked about, you find products on AliExpress, use Oberlo to import those products directly onto your Shopify store. And then when somebody buys it from you for 15, you buy it off AliExpress for one and pocket the difference, right? And so the last viable method that I like to talk, to talk about 
is using ClickFunnels. And so ClickFunnels is a really cool way um, to sell you know, any, t any number of different products, whether it's a digital product, whether so it's a you know, stroller hook. And so I'm going to actually give away this funnel that I've made a ton of money with um, to everyone watching the video. If you guys are interested, uh, it will be on the cheat sheet page. You're gonna be able to download the cheat sheet uh, on Shopify that gives you all of the URLs and everything that you need um, to kind of see what best sellers are, to use all of the different hacks, right? And it's gonna lay it out for you in a very methodical order that's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys to find you know, home run products. And so I'm also gonna give you this free funnel that you can download yourself, right? ClickFunnels is an incredibly powerful software. Um, and so it makes it super easy, right? The two, uh, two order form where people can put their name, address, and then immediately put in their billing info makes it incredibly easy to sell, right? Amazon best selling over 1,293 hooks sold, kind of using some of those psychological tactics to make it um, seem, you know, scarce and want people to uh, purchase quickly, right? So give them multiple ways to sell. Um, and if you guys are interested, I, I would be willing to make um, a tutorial of exactly how I made a funnel um, for drop shipping that made me over $100,000 profit. And I will show you guys exactly how to set up everything, right? How to handle the order details, how to automate fulfillment, right? how to set up a free plus shipping ag arrangement, right? Because those are incredibly successful ways to kind of get people in the door because as you know, if you do have any type of e-commerce experience, the most difficult part of creating a business on the internet is to kind of get people's initial interest, right? So a free plus shipping model is incredibly useful, right? Because how that works is you give away the product, right? You give away the product for free, um, and all they have to pay is shipping and handling, right? And so you're actually, you're, so you're charging $7.99 for shipping and handling. Um, you're buying the product off AliExpress for $1. You pay $1 shipping to AliExpress. They, they pay $8 for shipping and handling. And then you pocket the difference between, you know, the cost on AliExpress for a dollar, shipping on AliExpress for a dollar, and then you're charging $8 just for shipping and handling, pocketing that $6 difference, right? So free plus shipping. I'll show you guys exactly how I used ClickFunnels and drop shipping to make over $100,000 profit. If you guys are interested in that, definitely make sure to leave me a comment below. Um, I'm not going to make it unless I get, you know, a bunch of people who are interested in it because obviously it takes me a ton of time to create these videos for you guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is exactly how to find home run products on Shopify, removing all of the guesswork, right? Creating a Shopify business, creating a drop shipping Shopify business, or using click funnels to create a fully sustainable e-commerce business all within a week, guys. So that is every single piece of information all of the methods I like to use, all of the software, all of the tricks, right? All of the Chrome extensions. So if you guys did like it, please make sure you do subscribe. Um, I'm making these videos all for you guys absolutely for free. So if it does help you, click the subscribe button. Make sure you press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I release a brand new video with a ton of ninja tactics. So if you guys enjoyed it, I hope you did and we will definitely see you next time. If you do wanna check out that ClickFunnels uh, funnel, how I made $100,000 profit with one funnel drop shipping, make sure to leave a comment below. And if I get enough comments, guys, I'll make that for you absolutely again for free, like always. So leave that nine to five behind and we will see you next time. Thank you.